During, um, during this lab session, I, um, I just did a couple of smaller sketches. Um, so I'm going to talk about the most interesting one to me and sort of uh, future thoughts. So I work in the sort of data visualization world. Um, and one of the, OK, there we go. Um, one of the issues sort of right now is what to do when you have a huge mess of data that has all of these wonderful connections and you want to show someone. And you just basically get, oftentimes, one of these, which I refer to as the hairball graph. Um, this specific one is uh, documenting, well, not documenting, but it's looking at all the different worlds that comic book characters inhabit and sort of grouping them within certain worlds and then also what are the connections and when do they appear in each other's worlds. Um, so I don't know, it's pretty interesting to me, but it's impossible to tell what's going on and it just involves a lot of this like zooming and panning and at some point labels show up, but I don't know, it's really hard to understand. Um, so I was thinking about this and I wanted to come up with a better solution for being able to present huge amounts of data and also to be able to show it in a better capacity for uh, talking to an audience other than me having to stare at this and try to like navigate and click around and zoom and pan. Um, so what I started working on was with um, using the connect to uh, in this example, to control the camera in a 3D sketch of data. Um, so I'm using OpenNI, as you can see on the, on the left, and then on the right I have um, an old data set that I had laying around that is kind of weird, but it's uh, several thousand MySpace photos, and it's uh, looking at the center area on them and uh, computing the average uh, HSV value, which is hue saturation and Value. Thank you. I already I always blank on that last one. Anyway, um, so I have that sort of graphed in a 3D cylindrical model, and yeah, I'll play the movie. So I have this tied to uh, my right hand, and I'm using the position of my hand to control where the camera is going. And so you know, X, Y, and Z are uh, corresponding between the two sketches. Um, and I kind of liked this because you get this, you know, you can zoom into it, you can interact with the data in a more real way, and it's interactive. Um, I guess two of my pet favorite things about this data set that I really love are one, that column in the middle, um, which you get from black and white images that people have, and two, the clustering in the sort of orangey yellow area. When I first had this graph, I thought that there was a bug in the data until someone pointed out that that is skin tone. So yeah, I really like, um, I like this data set and it was fun to have a new way to explore it and sort of see it in a different way than trying to, um, you know, move my mouse around and approximate sort of a 3D transformation in two degrees of movement. Um, so my future thoughts for this are basically to press forward and continue thinking of new ways to use the Connect to um, explore different sets and not only camera manipulation but also, you know, maybe having animations start. I had this sort of mental image of a world map where as you're moving over the different continents then you start finding out the data corresponding to each continent. So I think that there's a lot. Um, that could be done in this, and I'd really love to tie it in um, also to web applications and, I don't know, have it be a bit more than just, you know, it's going on on my box or, you know, my computer uh, for presentations. But, yeah, so that's what I thought about and um, hope to be doing more soon. Thank you.